I'm talking about things such as your flyers or your leaflets, your brochures, on your website, um, in your social media posts, and even when speaking with new parents. Hi everybody, my name is Pam Obasa and um, I am the founder of ChildcareServiceProviders.com and there is an aeroplane flying right above me right now. <laughs> Just wait for that to go. And it is gone, I wish it was taking me somewhere nice, like to the beach or somewhere. So anyway, um, I am the founder of ChildcareServiceProviders.com and um, um, over there I share my experience as a childcare manager and I share with you everything that I learn and everything that I do so that um, as a provider you know where to go if you have any problems. Um, so do visit that site. Over the next 31 days I am running uh, a free training every single day. I am giving you my best tips on how to book parents in your setting. Not just to book parents, I want to help you get fully booked. I want to help you fill all of your spaces and build your waiting list with ease. Because I believe that there, are, there is enough children for everybody to go around, but the problem that I see with a lot of childcare settings or owners or managers is that the, the information of how to do this, just um, you might not know what to do. So every single day I am sharing that with you. So this is day six of my um, of my 31 days and I'm really really pleased thank you so much to everybody who has been with me so far and thank you so much for sharing these videos and um, I'm getting so much reach and so many people are contacting me privately for help and you know because they are getting so much value and I really really appreciate that so keep sharing share this video please with anybody that you know share it in your group even if you don't think that you know anybody who runs a childcare setting. You just never know what everybody does. So please do go ahead and share it with your group. So today, um, for day six, I want to share something with you that you might not have in your marketing material. And what that is, is an open door policy. Now, when I say an open door policy, what do you think about? You know, when I think of an open door policy, I think of I think about a physical door being open. Um, I think about a policy. When you hear the word policy, you know, it sounds like, oh my God, another policy, yet another policy. And also, um, when it comes to open door policies, uh, lots of people use, use it for their employees. However, in childcare, I use it for my parents. I also use it for my employees, but I, I use it for my parents. And here is how you can use it um, to really, really supercharge your marketing and to get parents to be more confident about what you do. So having an open door policy um, gives you accessibility. It helps parents know that you are accessible to them. Now imagine this, a new parent who has just had a baby and who comes to you and who is interested in placing their child with you. What do they want to know? They want to know that they can reach you whenever they want. They want to know that if they have any questions, you are on hand to answer them. They want to know that you are available, that you are not just gonna take you know, their registration and take their money and then disappear. That is essentially what an open door policy is. It doesn't necessarily mean keeping your office doors wide open. Um, however, it's just you just having that thought of being available to your parents so that when they need you, you are accessible to them and they know that you are accessible. So the second point about an open door policy is an open flow of, in, of communication. Why is an open flow of communication important? It is important because if a parent has a concern, you want them to come to you first. You want them to know um, that you are the best person to solve their problems because if they come to you, then that way they won't spread any bad reviews, they won't tell their friends because you're gonna solve their problems quickly. They might not um, complain to the powers that be, such as Ofsted. So you want to be that person who is available and show your parents that you are available that you have an open flow of communication going on, your staff are on hand and that you are on hand to answer any questions that they may have. And thirdly about an open door policy is this, it's fast access to information. So you create a fast access to information for your parents. What kind of information would your parents need? Now sometimes a parent might need some documents signed for them, especially if they're a student and they're going to be going through student financing. They might need documents signed to prove that their child comes to your setting. They might need documents signed for tax credits. They might need documents signed for all sorts of purposes. They just have information that they need from you. So having an open door policy shows parents that there is fast access to the information that they need and that they can get that through you. 
An open door policy also gives you a closer networking relationship, a closer working relationship. Now, what does that mean? That essentially means that you can build your parent partnership a lot quicker and a lot stronger. Now, parent partnership is one of the four pillars of childcare industry the child care sector there are four main pillars and this is what I teach about and um, parent partnership is one of them um, it is absolutely key to have a good partnership with your parents because when you have a good partnership with them you are saying to them that we are working together to bring up your child you are saying to them that and um, we are partners in raising your child we are partners in what we do it is not just them versus us you are a team and so you communicate with them well you share ideas you help one another when the child is going through something at nursery you share it with them you share it with them and you ask them what are you doing at home to support your child and you share ideas that is essentially what a parent partnership is so when you have an open door policy, what you are saying um, to a parent is that we are able to have a partnership with you. So what does this have to do with childcare marketing? Well, it has a lot to do with childcare marketing because when a parent wants to bring their child to you, they want to know that you are easily accessible. Now, this is one key point that a lot of providers, a lot of, a lot of nurseries fail to get across to their parent from the onset. You don't want them to come into your nursery and then work it out by themselves. You want to let them know from the beginning. Why? Because it instills and builds confidence in them and um, in your setting. It builds trust in your setting and it builds relationship. So that like, know and trust factor is built in them simply because you have an open door policy. So how can you implement this? You're probably thinking, okay, Pam, so I do have an open door policy, which you probably do. And if you don't, please have one. Um, Pam, I do have an open door policy. How can I use this in my marketing? I'm gonna tell you how. And if you don't have one, um, I'm gonna tell you how to get that too. It's simple. Have a conversation with one of your current parents or a few of your current parents and just ask them some questions. You can send out a questionnaire to find out how they really feel and they can communicate with you anonymously if they want to as well. But ask them how, ask them key questions such as um, when you need to communicate with the nursery, do you find it easy to communicate with us? Yes or no. When you need a question answered, do you find it easy to, 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 to have your question answered? Do you feel that we are approachable? Is there any way that we can be even more approachable? Is there anything that you you want to know about us or about your child or about what we do that um, that you don't know that we can share with you further you know ask these questions and open up a conversation with your current parents now what you can do with the information that you receive is of course take it back and fix any problems if your parents do come back and say actually by the way you know you really could be better at this you really could be better at that absolutely take it back and fix those things but if parents are positive and they do say of course you're always there when I need you when I call you're always there when I email you always answer when I have questions you're always there to answer my questions ask them to give you a testimonial now a test a testimonial is simply them putting it in writing and uh, giving you permission to share the snippet that they have written along with their name now what you do with this information is you put it on your flyers your leaflets you put it on your website you put it on your facebook page your twitter account you know whatever social media platforms you are using you put it everywhere and you credit the parent who said it what does that do it gives you what's called social proof because then it's not just you saying you are fantastic at what you do and you care about your children and you care about your families it's now your parents speaking for you so you are using testimonials to do this for you now that is the power of not just having an open door policy but using your open door policy in your marketing in order to bring in new parents now like I said earlier when you do this when new parents see that you are always on hand who do you think they're going to come to when they need childcare? They want to come to somebody who is easily accessible. They want to come to somebody who has an open flow of information. They want to come to somebody who will respond to them when they need to, who, who is there to answer questions, who understand the importance of partnership with parents and who knows um, how to really, really, truly partner with parents in order to achieve a common goal, which is caring for their child in the best way possible. So 
I hope that you have taken something out of this. Now, if you don't already have testimonials, go back and speak to your current parents, even if you have two parents. I promise you, if you can get a good testimonial from those two parents and you can strategically place those testimonials in the right places, it will come back to you and you can have lots of new parents ringing your phones and knocking on your door to bring your children because what other parents say can actually be more important than what you are saying about the city. So thank you so much for today. I will see you tomorrow for day seven. And